Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Valdrin and this is Revenant. Uh, last episode we were summoned into this world of Aquilon and given the quest to rescue the daughter of the local chieftain. Then we proceeded to ransack the castle, have an innocent person executed and now we're exploring the town. So let's talk to some people. A stranger in this haven. Has a trade ship arrived? Oh, you must be the Revenant. I shall not judge you, lest I be judged myself. I realized you weren't given a choice in the matter, so I cannot fault you either. I can only pray that the gods forgive us for raising you from the dead. Perhaps if you can save this town, it will mean the salvation of your soul. I care nothing for salvation. You do not get out of the church much, do you? All right, let's steal everything there is. Uh, all right, a rose. Cronus is our armor smith. He has quite a background in military history. I hear he's working on some special armor since you showed up. I can't wait to see what he comes up with. Let's check out the rose and ah yes, um, some item descriptions. You can check by throwing them on the ground, the items that is, and then picking them up again and then the item description will appear here. I haven't found another way except for right clicking in this screen. If you right click here, nothing happens. So I might be throwing stuff on the ground randomly throughout the episodes. Just to see, for example, what the description of an apple is. Yeah, it restores a bit of health, a little bit of mana, and a bit of fatigue. So it's a restoration potion, basically. What does this thing... Ah, you can't drop it because it's a, a semi-quest thingy. My beloved sticks, it has been several months since your death and I still grieve. I would find it easier to mourn your passing were I able to visit your grave. However, the forests are no longer safe and I'm unable to visit the graveyard. I think this should be read with a women's voice, but I'm unable to do that. Thus, I am forced to write this note and hope that someday I may deliver a gift to where you lay at rest. I have acquired a magical rose which I wish to bring to you. It is forever in bloom and will never wilt or die, just like my lo- Oh god, that's so sappy. Yeah. Anybody else here? You must be the Revenant. Tendrick told us you'd be coming. I was told to cooperate with you, so what do you need? I need some information. I think Geralt might be able to help you out. All my information is useless gossip. So, how does it feel to be resurrected anyway? Tendrick told you they resurrected me? Yeah, Tendrick was a town knock on a years ago. Plan to deal what with the, the hell? Cult. Needless to say, we were less than pleased that a soul rescued from hell would be our champion. You do not trust Tendrick's judgment? Uh, there was a time when I would never doubt a word that came out of Tendrick's mouth. Ever since Sardok showed up, though. Go on. And risk my life by execution? Ha! They said I had to cooperate with you, but implicating Sardok is a death wish. Good day, sir. As he said, uh, we were also given a hint to speak to Geralt in the library. But before we go there, we're also supposed to visit Jong, the combat master, to learn new combat moves. And as far as I rec... That was weird. As far as I recollect, that was somewhere over here. No? Yes. Just throw in a quick save. Are you the combat master, Jong? I am. I am called Locke. Of course you are. I was sent here by Sardok and Tendrick to relearn my combat skills. Relearn? <clears throat> Draw your sword. Ooh, I never thought I would see that stance again. You hold your sword in the style of the ancients. It is a lost combat style. I am well versed in the combat techniques of the ancients. Perhaps I will be able to train you. 
Here is how it works. I will give you a certain number of combat maneuvers you must learn. You can practice them on that dummy over there until you feel you have mastered them. Once you feel comfortable with the basics, you can head out into the forest to hunt for creatures. The more field combat you get, the more powerful your attacks will become. I but understand. I'm not finished yet. My apologies, Sensei. Please continue. Return here often, especially after you have seen a good deal of combat. I will teach you new attack moves if I feel you are ready to handle them. The more creatures you kill, the more moves you can learn. Is all this clear? When do we start? I will now teach you a new technique. Pay close attention to my commands until you feel you have mastered the attack. All right, so it's basically a charge. Well, that can be very useful. Good work, Locke. You should have enough knowledge to survive out there. Come back and check in with me every once in a while. Thank you, John. I will return when I have increased my skills. That's basic code for return after a few level ups. So, my student has returned. Let us see how you are doing. Hmm, why not? Yeah, let, let's try it. Oh god. Actually, I don't think he's all that great. Also, this is probably boring to watch. So. <laughs> Why does it say glancing blow versus Jong One? How many Jongs are there? Also, I think he unequipped my sword. Let's ransack this house. Mm, nothing, really? Right. As you've probably noticed by now, the game also has uh, night and day cycles. Which is a nice touch. Beeline to the chest. Come inside and be healed, my child. My herbs and potions will make you feel good. Right, let's buy some drugs. All right. What exactly are you selling? No, all right, that's very expensive at this moment. Let's not buy anything. If I can recall correctly, his As items... You wish, my child. Return here any time you feel the need. As far as I remember, his items are restocked either depending on progress through the game or depending on the level you have. Oh, what's this? Oranges. Come on. 
Let's not get stuck in the scenery. Um, this is probably locked, isn't it? Yeah. Most of those doors are locked and they remain locked for the rest of the game. Welcome to my shop. Here you will find the finest assortments of goods, potions, and even the occasional magical item. Yeah, this guy's um, stock is renewed or updates whenever you gain a few levels, I think. Let us take a look at what you have. No, this one, god damn it, this one um, updates depending on the progress throughout the game. Can I actually see what this is? No. Oh, it says so, of course. I'm blind, obviously. Armor class bonus 2, luck 2. Uh, it's all very nice, but not really what we need. A pouch might be... Yeah, let's get a pouch. Hmm, a fine choice. So that I can store, for example, all these other items. Thank you kindly. Make sure new items arrive by ship all the time. It was a pleasure doing business with you. You basically have infinite amounts of inventory. Just scroll to the right. But after a while it gets such a hassle that you are really going to want to sort everything in bags and containers. Let's see what's next. Is this... Yes, the library. Alright, anything to steal? Trade syndicate. Oh yes. The books I'll probably post in a image format, so you can read them whenever you want. Military intelligence. What I really want is gold, loot, swords, magic? Is that a book or is that... Alright, that's a book. You must be Geralt. Yes, you look familiar. Have I met you somewhere before? Not unless you have been in the deeper hells recently. What? Oh, I see. You must be the revenant Sardok has brought back to go up against the Children of the Change. That is correct. You are called Locke, aren't you? How did you know that? It is the name given to all the revenants. It means once living. I understand what I am. Yes, and what you are is not going to make you many friends in Mist Haven. You won't find the citizens here very friendly. They weren't pleased to learn that a man that's been dead for thousands of years is the one they have to depend on to save them from the cult. And you? Oh, I'm an historian. I was hoping you could tell me about what life was like during her first existence. I am afraid I do not remember very much. Of course, it will come back to you in time. Now, what can I do for you? What can you tell me about the history of this island? Oh, I could go on for hours, but I think I would bore you. It is better to learn from books. The history of Aquilon is available in the bookcases in this library. I need to travel to the caves. How would I do that? The caves? Hmm, certainly not an easy task. The caves are blocked off by a gateway. To even get there, you will need to travel through the forest, which is very dangerous these days. Even then, you still have the Ogrok to deal with. They have built their village around the cave entrance. Sounds like a challenge to me. Where should I start? 
Well, there is this hermit that lives outside of town in a little shack. He has lived on this island since my great-grandfather arrived here over 200 years ago. If anyone knows how to get into those caves, it'll be him. Be warned, though. I fear he's slightly mad. Oh, I'm sure we'll get along just fine. That is all for now. I will be back later. Of course, if you need any further help, please come and see me. I'm not only an expert in Aquilon history, but also items and artifacts. Alright, so we need to find an old codger out in the woods. But, first I really just want to explore the town a bit further. Is this the armor shop? This is one of those infamous locked doors, yes. Alright, a cat person. You've come for a weapon? My handcrafted weaponry is the finest in all the boor. I did not remember that the game had cat people. Oh well. This is my kind of place. Show me what you have available. Now, before I go and buy every other fun weapon that is available, there are a few things you need to know. Which is that when you kill something, you not only gain experience in the general way, but you also gain experience in skills such as sword fighting, which actually aren't shown in the menu screens, but those skills are there nonetheless. There's sword fighting, mace fighting, and so forth and so on. And if you're not going to specialize in one of them, then you're going to do subpar damage. And seeing as how swords are usually the most commonly available, as well as the best weapons available, that's where you want to specialize. And seeing as how there are no swords available, I'll not buy anything. I trust you will put my weapons to good use. I am working on a few special items, so check back with me later. Bloodstains had best be on that weapon when we next meet. Weapon and armor shops update depending on your level. You're crazy to be wandering around the forest these days. Good way to get yourself killed if you ask me. Oh, aren't you an armor shop? You're crazy to be wandering around the forest of these days. Of course not. Good this way. isn't going to change if I just try it again. That's the definition of insanity. Um, then there has to be an armor shop somewhere that I forgot about. Which isn't this sign, of course, because those are weapons. Oh, come on. Getting stuck in scenery. Oh, bread. Yes, let's. Oh, a muffin. Great. What's this? Carrots. Marvelous. Anything else I can steal? Yes, of course. More apples. Mmm. Loving it. And that? What's that? Celery. What a haul. Bread. Ah, I think that's it. No, oh, can start my own fruit stand. Gold in the bookcase. Shouldn't keep gold in the bookcase. Might get stolen. Ilani is our resident healer. He's a good man, but we wonder about the spell that comes from his house. Oh, I'm not one to gossip, but some say he smokes those healing herbs. Why do you think he would do such a thing? I really didn't understand that this was a reference to pot back in the day. Huh. Your kind is not welcome in my home. Please leave. Is this the way you treat those who would save you from the cult? I would rather face the cult than welcome a product of hell into my home. It is a shame I have been resurrected to save such a town. Miss Haven's outer beauty is marred by the prejudices of its inhabitants.
All right, my job here is done. Next house. This is one of those doors? Yes, it is. I think that's some sort of bug, but I'm not sure how I can fix it. So you're going to save us all, huh? If you ask me, we should all just get on a ship to the mainland and leave this stinking island to the cult. Away from me, foul demon! Foul demon? I spit on you! Scum of Hades! Servant of the Dark Lord! Well, your furnace is a portal into a dark dimension anyway, so... Is that so? Bag! Bag! Take your cursed vile soul away from my home! Hmm. I think I have an idea. I am the child of the Dark Lord. I shall rip out your intestines and feast on your soul. <laughs> that was definitely worth it. Lock one, old lady zero. And this is the tavern. Which doesn't feature any stealable items outside. I once caught a baby droog. I tried to make it my pet. Those but droog made oh God. train, but they sure so I had to let it dumb. go in the forest. Can I help you, son? What can you tell me about this town? Mist Haven was a great place to live before the cult showed up. Tendrick kept things running pretty smoothly. These days, it's more like a ghost town around here. Who is that woman dancing over there? That's Kylie. She's the entertainment around here. Keep your hands off her, and I won't have to break your arms. What do you know about the cult? I know they've all but destroyed my business. The population of this town has dropped sharply since their arrival. Oh, if I was 20 years younger, I'd go out there myself and take them on. I am going to look around a bit. Normally, I don't allow non-drinking customers in here. But in your case, I'll make an exception. Let's take a look at this entertainment then, shall we? Alright, look at them pixels. Excuse me. I was wondering if... Mmm. You must be new around here. Yes. I guess you could say that. I like new things. What can I do for you, handsome? I am looking for information. Well, I probably don't have the type of information you are searching for. Unless you are looking for a... Good time. Do you like my dancing? Gus tells me I am the best. You dance like a fool. What? You are not captivated by the allure of my body? I have not been with a woman for quite some time. But I would wait another millennia before I touched you. Yeah, we're definitely going to do fine with the ladies around here. <laughs> Rubel! More ale! You've been having enough for one night there. What? I'm cutting you off. I see. You're against me too. Ah, seems like everybody's got something against me lately. I am beginning to have something against you as well. Uh, who are you? I am called Locke. Well, nice to meet you, Locke. You know, 
are not normally like this. Oh no? It all started a few months back. A woman strolled into town by the name of Harrowen. Let me guess, she broke your heart. Ugh, I spent my life savings to buy her the most expensive engagement ring in the land. Then she stole the ring from my home and ran off into the forest. Sounds like you have been conned. Exactly. I went after her, but she locked herself up inside the uh, ancient tower. I do not suppose you would know how I could enter the caves. Caves? <laughs> Why on earth would you want to go there? I have my reasons. Well, I do know that the Ogrog village is around there. I think I may have an idea about how to get into the village. Kill the Agrak that live there? Ha 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 Oh, there's way too many of them. An army of men will be hard pressed to take them on. So, what is this idea? My great grandfather was known as Sohail the Ogrok Slayer. He once told me about an amulet that he stole from the Ogrok during a raid on their village. An amulet? <laughs> yeah, the amulet of Ragos, if my memory serves me <laughs> correctly. If you had that as trade, oh, the Ogrok might let you pass through their village. Excellent. Where can I find the amulet? The amulet is on Arachna Island, which is on the southeast coast of Aquilon. So, how can I get there? <laughs> you can't exactly swim it, but I do have a boat. Then you will take me to Arachna Island. Sure, yeah, on one condition. I need me money back to survive. You must get the ring back from heroin. I get the ring back and you get me to Arachna Island. Is that the deal? Yeah, that's right. So, we have a deal. The ring for passage to Arachna Island. Deal. Ha 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 ha! Oh, excellent! I'll wait for you at my house then. It's the one by the docks. Godspeed, drunk bastard. <laughs> Right, anybody else need a talking to? Oh yes, the locked doors again. <laughs> Alright, come on, give me my controls back. Yeesh. Greetings, Revenant. Greetings. I am Bane Van Gelen. Some call me Iron Hand. I am called Locke de Averham. So you're the Revenant that's going to save this blighted island, eh? You do not think I can handle it? I came to this island in hopes they would hire me for the job, but it seems as though you were handpicked. I was not given much choice in the matter. Hi, <laughs> but I imagine it beats being in hell. Good point. Perhaps sometime in the future, you could consider bringing me along on one of your quests. I'm not much for the magic arts, but I can split an Agrok skull with one swing of my axe. 
I could use some help. Would you like to join me? It is a gracious offer, but I have other business to attend to right now. Perhaps someday in the future we will have the opportunity to fight side by side. I look forward to it. I think he's a character you can get to play in the multiplayer, but I've never actually gotten that to work correctly. And as far as I recollect, it's not a co-op experience, so it's not very interesting. Gina owns the weapon shop. Her weapons are excellent, but there must be better ones out there. Wherever you may travel, make sure and search everywhere. You never know what you might find. Yes, like the gold in the chest next to you. You must be locked. Word travels fast around here. Some of us trust that Tendrick knew what he was doing by bringing you here. Your words are appreciated. I thank you. What? I'm thanking someone? What is this? I'm, I'm doing this wrong. Quickly steal some gold. Otherwise I'm probably going crazy. Nothing else to steal? Oh dear. The cult is everywhere these days. They could have taken this town out months ago. I wonder what they're waiting for. Welcome to Miss Taven. This town is relatively safe, but the rest of Aquilon is very dangerous. Please be careful if you decide to leave town. Alright, will do. Uh, still a few houses left though. Yeah, that pixel art. Mm -hmm. Right, any more fruits? More celery? Yes, gold in a pot. I'm certain I saw a hand here. Hmm, must have been the gold in the pot. Right. Are you also silent? I guess they couldn't be asked to hire a kid actor. <laughs> Excuse me, I was... Shh, quiet. Listen to me closely. Out in the forest, several trees have knotted holes in them. On occasion, you can find food or treasures hidden inside them. How did you find this out? I was robbed by some droog a few weeks ago. I followed them into the forest and watched them hide their loot in the tree trunks. After a little investigation, I found out they've hidden stuff all over the forest. So why have you not gone and taken it for yourself? Are you mad? There are Agrak, Arachna, and even lurkers out there. You can get yourself killed if you leave your house these days. Why are you telling me this? I'm getting off this accursed island on the next boat. I'm certainly not going to risk my neck out in those woods. But since I'm leaving anyway, it would be a waste if nobody found all that treasure. Why let the Droog have it? Well, thanks for the tip. No problem. Remember, it's a secret. Sometimes it takes a while to get the controls back after a conversation. But anyway, that was actually a good tip. There are plenty of knot holes, so plenty of chests. So all throughout the forest. It seems to be locked. Anything here? Also locked. Well, the chests you can unlock, but doors not. This is the armor shop. My craftings are as durable as they are unique. Right, let's see whether we finally can buy something useful. Let us see what you have available. Ah. Oh. Oh, so they didn't lie. There actually are different versions of the t-shirt and jeans. And, well, that's not much. Alright, actual... Ah, there we are. Right, let me make a decision on what to buy and then I'll get back to you. Boom. 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 Boom.
Seeing as how we don't yet have any gloves or a helmet, I'm probably going to go... Yeah, I'm going to buy the black leather gloves. Excellent choice. It will serve you well. As well as the black leather helmet. Excellent choice. It will serve you well. Good. And I'll probably return soon for some of the other black leather pieces. Be sure and stop back off and put check this the new armor set. in a bag. I hope to see you again soon. Right. As far as leveling up goes, there is actual a actually a stat system in the game, and when you level up, depending on where you place these plus points, you are going to gain statistics in say strength or constitution, and so forth and so on. And um, strength is basically for dealing damage as well as a requirement for your weapons, like this sword, which requires a minimum strength of 16. And we now have 18, so that's all right. Constitution is um, your health as well as a requirement for armors. And I believe we are currently close to the uh, maximum minimum constitution required 12 and we only have 12. So I'm probably going to level up this first. And then there is also agility which is useful in hand-to-hand -hand combat. It influences your hit chances in hand-to-hand -hand combat and your hit chance with the bow. So this is basically useless. And then there's the reflexes stat, which influences your dodge chance, but it's basically always better to dodge manually. And then mind, which gives you mana per level and luck, which is, uh, as always, a stat that gives everything else but in far too minor amounts to matter. Also, there actually is a dodge button in the game, but it's, well, it's a directional dodge with control and a direction at the same time. I think you can also only do it when you're in combat, yes. The problem with this is, if you are using the right mouse button to stay your character, then you can't dodge. So, if you want to dodge in combat, you're going to have to control your character with either the directional keys or the numpad. I might have to change to that control scheme at some point, but for basically running around, it's far more easy, it's far easier to just use the mouse. Anything else here? Ah, this must be the drunkard's home. Let's see whether he has anything else to say. Or whether he has anything to steal, of course. Magical locked door? Yeah, of course. So, we have a deal. The ring for passage to Arachna Island. Deal. Right, of course, we haven't got the ring yet, so there's nothing we can do here. And then there is the harbour, which is not really much of a harbour, I have to say. I mean, it's a pier. Seeing as how it's not a very interesting thing to see me running around areas that don't actually contain anything. Well, alright, I might show me stealing 
a shipload of fruits. But otherwise, if I'm just running around and not doing anything beneficial in particular, I'm probably just going to fade in and fade out and show me reappear at another position and start doing something productive again. Because it can't be very interesting to just see me walk about all the bloody time, can it? Yes, we've already stolen all the fruits. We've stolen more fruit from the boat. There's nothing here, which because that was the tavern. Right, let's head out into the forest and murder all the fairy woodland creatures, shall we?